Hi, I'm Sam Clift and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I drew this honeybee in watercolour. So first of all, I'm lightening the sketch with a kneadable eraser to make sure that there's no graphite showing through when I start the colour. And going in with a really, really light wash of the yellow. And applying this to the whole of the bee. Very watered down. And just working with the lightest tone that I can see in the reference photo. Going in with a slightly darker now, so I've added a little touch more yellow, a little bit more ochre, and just mapping in the legs and the darker parts of the body. So using really small strokes to kind of show the direction of the little hairs on the bee. So going over the whole of the areas that I can see has this slightly darker colour. And now going in with the really darkest colour that I can see just to map out the darker details so it starts to take some form. So I can see some really dark parts on the legs, the top of the head, and again using the tiny brush strokes. And the eyes, one of the darkest areas. Mapping that in. those tiny brush strokes to map out the hairs and I've noticed that the legs need to be darker still so going in with another layer I'm using a mix of brown and also the Payne's grey so paying close attention to the reference photo as this would be almost impossible to lift back up if I made a mistake. So watering that mixture down a little bit and going in with the mid-tones. All around the top of the head, the antenna and also the darker parts which are lighter where the wing is because there's a bit of reflection and mapping out these stripes on the bee And just going in with another layer of the darker, just to fill in those mid-tones, darkening those up still. And now going in with the darker parts of the body, so adding more orange, touch of brown to the yellow. Just following my reference photo. lightening up that wash a little bit just so it shows a lighter colour through the wing and the little brush strokes again to show the hairs on the honeybee looking a little bit disjointed at this stage so going in with the darker mid-tones 
to add a bit of shape and form and to join those two colours together, the darkest and the lightest. So taking my time, not rushing. Using a really tiny brush to get the detail in. Joining the colours together and adding the midtones to the face, the head, and the top of the body. See it's slowly starting to come together now, filling in those mid-tones. Watering down the orange colour to fill in the lighter mid-tones. And darkening up the darker stripes some more. And any shadow to give the body some shape. And the darker grey, so again to that Payne's grey, watering it down. And joining those sections together, any gaps that I've left, white, just filling those in. So it's not such a contrast of colours. It's much more cohesive and less disjointed. And the shadows again on the body. Paying close attention to the reference photo. And leaving any highlights of the paper showing through the white. So that's as lightest as it needs to be. The white watercolour tends to be quite translucent, so it's not very good for putting on top of things, so it's best to just leave the paper white to really show the highlights. Mapping out the wings. And the patterns of the wings using a really tiny brush and then painting a very very thin wash over the top so they stay very, very light. This is where the white is really good. It can kind of go over the top of the darker parts to give that kind of iridescent look to the, to the wings. There was a bit of a yellow tinge too and a bit of a grey tone on the, on the other wing. 
darkening up the patterns, making sure that they stand out enough. I'm just going over any other areas with a wash just to bring it together. Some last final details. Bit of grey wash to finish the details and the shadows on the wing. And the bee is finished. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Just remember to keep practicing and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.